Welcome back to another episode of your Digit Hustle News. I'm Wade Teamer. Ladies and gentlemen, a heap ton of money is about to come into crypto. When I say a heap ton, I mean a heap ton. Okay. In the focus of this video, guys, I'm going to cover the story about these German special funds. Now, we talked about those funds on this channel about a month ago. Okay. It was a story that I had did along with VeChain, but Today is the day that that law comes into fruition. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what that is going to mean for crypto. We're also going to take a look at the charts because I'm telling you guys, Ethereum and HBAR more specifically is looking very, very bullish. We're going to go over that too, as well as, and this is important, the updated U.S. infrastructure bill is narrowing their focus on crypto regulation so i'm gonna give you the details on all of that so without further ado though let's get into the charts i want to start with chart talk today first guys because i'm looking at the charts and there are some pretty pretty pictures being painted for both ethereum and hbar now we're going to start with ethereum first because this this one is the most obvious, probably the most easiest to explain too. Okay. As you can clearly see, we are ready for round two. All right. This was round one and now we're getting ready for round two. Now I was looking at this chart prior to recording this video, just so I can give you guys an idea, a simple overview of where I believe that we're headed for the month of August. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my little measuring tool here. We'll start at today and we'll go over about 28 days. We'll just say 28 days and then take it to that top line. Now, like I mentioned last time we did this chart talk, I only use two indicators, guys. I only use two. They've worked perfectly fine for me. Every trader's got their own indicators that they use and they work for them. But these have been pretty pretty accurate for me. The Bollinger Bands, courtesy of Mr. John Bollinger, and um, RSI, which is the relative strength index that's indicated by that red line there right here in the middle, and as well as this chart at the top. Now, what you see is what I like to call DC, double confirmation, because at the bottom here, we have a whole lot of room to grow. And we've also risen above, and this is the weekly, by the way, but We've also risen above this red line here, which now it's serving as a support level. And that's at about 2470. Okay. And we're sitting at about 26. So we are comfortable right now with room to still trip and stutter if necessary. But the month of August is looking very bullish for Ethereum, according to a technical standpoint. Okay. We're looking at about. 30% increase for Ethereum in the month of August, according to these metrics here. Let's see if I can, yeah, 31% increase. According to John and his bands and the relative strength index. All right, now I find it funny how, if you go back to my last chart talk session, which I think was last Monday, uh, the price behavior for the week proved to be pretty accurate. So. We'll see how this one goes. We'll see how this day, this week goes and pertains to uh, the price action. But I really feel like August is a very bullish month in general. But let's take a look at HBAR's chart. All right. I'm going to take a look at HBAR's chart because this is also beautiful. Now, the only uh, caution that I would say is present on this chart as of right now is, of course, where you see this red line here. That's a major stopping point for H bar. It has been in the past for the last few months. So you can call that a resistance level sitting at a quarter for H bar. But as of time of recording, we're looking to retest this 24 cent range for a second time. Now, I believe that we could hit it, touch it, face a little resistance, come back down to about 22 but going into the second third week of august i feel like we're going to get some very probably 
fundamental bullish news for HBAR. They're going to do another announcement, announce another partnership, and it's going to push us above this red line. Once we get above 24 cents, guys, HBAR is going to rally. And I'm talking 40, 42 cents. That's very imminent. Now, looking at these two charts, the markets, the markets are getting ready to shift, guys. We're here. We're pretty much here. But that's enough with a chart talk. I want to give you guys some news. All right. Not much news really came out today besides that of price news, which is an indicator that, yeah, the market sentiment is shifting. But there is still a lot of money coming into the space that we need to pay attention to, starting with Square. All right. They are they have been in the news for the last couple of weeks talking about how they're getting they're getting ready to go full force into this crypto thing development of a hard wallet twitter working with the lightning network square offering crypto custody now you know the the payment platform square they allow their merchants to uh they're going to allow their merchants to exchange in crypto and now square is about to acquire australian fintech afterpay in a 29 billion dollar deal 29 billion ladies and gentlemen now this uh deal is expected to close in the first quarter of 2022 so you see the foundation being laid here but story goes jack dorsey's uh cryptocurrency friendly digital payments firm square is expanding competition with global payment giants like paypal by acquiring a major australian leading lending company Square announced Sunday that the firm has entered into a scheme implementation deed to acquire all of the issued shares in fintech in the fintech company Afterpay in a $29 billion deal. The transaction is based on the closing price of the Square Common Share and is expected to be paid in all stock in the first quarter of 2022. So, Square is establishing their footprint, their global footprint, guys. Jack Dorsey is not kidding. And this is very this is very positive for the crypto space in general. Okay. It's gonna indicate to me just how long this second phase, this second bull run is going to extend. But we're gonna move over to the next story because this is kinda important, just as important as the last piece that I got for you. Uh the windfall of cash. But to prepare for that windfall of cash, of course, regulation had to come in. And it looks like we now have something, okay? Some sort of infrastructure reporting, courtesy of the infrastructure bill. It's essentially, guys, and this is a long read, but I'm going to break this down to you. What they just approved in this new infrastructure deal, and this is interesting because it kind of slipped under my radar. I was focused on this infrastructure package because of the building of the um, electric vehicles and setting the catalyst for the Internet of Things, so forth and so on. But written in that bill was crypto tax regulation. And simply put, they put that $10,000 limit on your crypto transactions. Anything over 10 k essentially has to be reported. But... Also, they are changing the percentages when it comes to what can and cannot be taxed when it comes to your crypto gains. That is what some are saying right now is what's causing Bitcoin to slide a little bit back is because this headline is causing some fear. They're going to increase the percentage of taxes on crypto. Yes, but if they're increasing the value of the cryptos at the same time, it's kind of going to be something that won't be seen during the process of everything that's going on. OK, now on the subject of big money, because they had to get this locked in before this date, because Germany is about to come in strong. They're about to come in strong, ladies and gentlemen, and it's probably going to be something the likes of which we've never seen, because this is the second story that they've posted about these special funds in the last two months they have been building this up in the background and we see the markets responding okay august 2nd we are here 
and a German law allowing for institutional funds to hold crypto has just taken effect. As much as $415 billion worth of investments could flow into crypto as new laws governing German special funds go into effect. Now, I am very excited about this because there are few projects that have a particular focus in Germany, have a lot of support in Germany. And if we have been, you guys have been paying attention uh, over the last year, we've spotted some of those. IOTA, Algorand, HBAR, EnergyWeb, XRP, Ethereum. <laughs> Ethereum. There is a an area of Germany that uh, earlier in the year stated that they were going to be using Ethereum for a uh, backing of their digital currency. So the reason why we're seeing major action that we're seeing in correlation to this date, I'm telling you, it's because of these facts here. Now, it states that beginning on August 2nd, German institutional funds will be able to hold up 20% of their assets in cryptocurrencies, possibly setting the stage for wider mainstream adoption of Bitcoin and other crypto assets by the nation's pension funds. As Bloomberg reports, the new law alters fixed investment rules governing special funds, also known as special funds, which are only accessible to institutional investors such as pension funds and, insur and insurers. Special funds currently manage, and this is what's got me so excited. They manage $2.1 trillion worth of assets globally. Okay? I remember seeing earlier in the year, it was a documentary I was watching. Well, it was an interview, rather. But they were talking about the potential market cap. Of crypto now this is merely hypothetical i'm not saying the whole 2.1 trillion is coming into the market but let's just say we get half of that current market cap market cap i've seen this year get up to two and a half without this news without this law coming into play if we can get to 2.5 without this law and you take another one and a half and you put it on top of the 2.5, that's a $4 trillion market cap. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. $4 trillion. $4 trillion market cap will place BTC at at least $150,000. At least $150,000. That is why I am so excited about this news. Now, it continues to state that Tim Krupsman, who works for the German Investment Fund Association, BVI, told Bloomberg that most funds will likely stay well below the 20% mark initially, explaining that, on one hand, institutional investors such as insurers have strict regulatory requirements for their investment strategies. And on the other hand, they must also want to invest in crypto, which they're coming trust. The new rule, which was passed in early July, represents an important evolution in how German lawmakers govern digital assets. Germany's Federal Financial Supervisor Authority, better known as BaFin, continues to urge caution with respect to digital asset investing. At the same time, the financial watchdog encourages blockchain innovation within the country. So, these special funds also remind me of the USDC and Circle situation, okay? where there are a list of approved investments that Circle is allowed to make. The story can kind of be transposed here in the sense that these special funds have a list of approved vehicles that they can go to and use to do investments, okay? Had to mark this date had to make record of this because if the markets go crazy from this day forward, this is obviously why. And we're going to start seeing headlines from companies that are just coming out of there. Like if Germany is a reoccurring thing over the next three months and Bitcoin continues to rally, 
there's your pieces right there we got german special funds 2.1 trillion coming in we got paypal getting ready to go DeFi smart contracts robin hood and uniswap coming together goldman swap goldman uh sachs with their etf focused around DeFi public companies working in DeFi. those public companies are microsoft ibm facebook nokia like a lot of them happen to have operations in Germany. So once you connect all the pieces together, ladies and gentlemen, this might be the bullish, the most bullish story of the year. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> it, it, maybe that's just me. The other crypto YouTubers, they're not here to tell you these things. But that's what I'm here for. Uh, yes, I believe I have gone on long enough about this, guys. Uh, if you want to talk more about it, of course, we can always chat down in the comment section and whatnot. Twitter, social media is all that good stuff. Send me an email. But this is definitely going to be massive for the space in general, guys. In general. That's why I had to report it to you. The This is what I consider to be the biggest one-two punch when it came to news for this Monday morning to start August. Okay? This is how I want you guys to start your August. The regulation that everybody has been clamoring for, it's here. It's in the form of this new infrastructure package. There's really no need to argue it anymore. The next logical step is the SEC case coming to a uh, resolve and then XRP shooting to the moon. And then the next narrative for 2022 will start to begin. But I firmly, I am firmly convinced, guys, these two stories, if interpreted correctly, will just show you that we just entered into the gate and the bull run is about to begin. But I got a bonus story for you before we leave, before we leave, okay? Because, uh, yeah, I think Too Short has a new favorite word and it's H-Bar because Grateful Dead and Too Short are launching NFTs using Hedera Hashgraph. Now, not going to get into the full article. It's quite detailed. It's specifically focused on V uh, CCS working with Grateful Dead on their line of NFTs. But what popped out to me is that shortly after the release of these NFTs, uh, Too Short is going to be releasing a line of NFTs that are going to be centered around West Coast hip hop legends. And that's that's just unique. That's just that's just freaking unique. Okay, another reason to just be, you you, you gotta have H bar because they're doing things, <laughs> they're doing things, guys, that not only from a technical standpoint you can support, okay, but just from a business relations, public relations standpoint, okay. Hedera Hashgraph is definitely a global project, without a doubt about it. All right, too many figures are coming into this governance ecosystem. Too many players are already in existence. And like I said, I really truly feel this winter, this winter H bar is gonna do things that we haven't seen before guys. So I noticed that I'm receiving a lot of love from the H bar community. I wanna welcome you guys, thank you. Uh, and it may be ordained that we came together like this because a lot of my investments, they do come from the thought, the spiritual, the esoteric, if you will. And it it just so happens that in June and July is when I first started to feel that. I've been investing in HBAR for a long time. Don't get me wrong. But it was June and July. And then started to cover the stories. And then you guys responded. So that kind of double confirmation for me right then and there H bar is going to do massive things this winter guys okay so with all that being said though i want to thank you for coming back to the channel of course if you would hit that like button if you're new make sure you subscribe so you stay updated on global crypto adoption with a global perspective if you want to get at me personally you can always send me an email get down to me in the comments or Get out to me, uh, reach out to me on Twitter at DigitHustle2021. But with all that being said, guys, I want you to have a great day, have a prosperous day, and most importantly, make 
that money it's monday y'all come on now run up a check man get it go and get a bag a lot of them hundred thousand dollars everybody right now i'll see y'all in the next video